Tengo que vestirme con cosas tanta tranquilidad. Va. Porque soy una ragazza calma. Mi pichano le tu a mozzarella. I don't make mozzarella, so. Sorry. Do you love me? To my channel. I'm Cara More. For those of you who are new here, subscribe, join the family. There's a lot of Amore up in this YouTube channel. I did a post on my Instagram asking you guys to ask me questions and I'm going to be answering them. I said leave a comment on my last post or send me a DM if you guys want it to be anonymous. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started into this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on here, follow me on Instagram. I'm going to leave it in the link below or right here. And yeah. Okay, so the first question I'm going to start off with is from Aldo de la Contanza. And he asked, how old are you? I am 22 years old, 22. I know I look like I'm 16, 17, but your girl's 22. A question that I got asked quite a few times was, are you going to take a trip to Italy or if I'm coming to Italy? Hopefully this summer I will be able to take a trip to Italia, either Rome or Milan, I'm thinking this summer. So let me know down below where I should go and where you guys live in Italy and maybe we can meet you never know what do you think about your Italian fans you guys are awesome I love you guys you guys are a little crazy but I like crazy so it works out perfect couple what is the best part about being a Latina that's a good question the best thing about being a Latina would have to be the culture I would definitely say being enriched in such an amazing culture, the history, the food. I can't really pick one thing, a best thing about being Latina. I love it. The culture. I'm just going to say the culture. Do you have any sort of degree yet? Yes, I have my associate's degrees in speech language pathology and I'm working towards my bachelor's in early childhood education. Do you really like Italian trap songs? Yeah. Italian trap's pretty lit. I like all trap music. Trap music. Gang gang. Do you like music? If yes, what kind of music do you like? I like all types of music. I like trap music, hip hop, reggaeton, bachata, salsa, merengue, country, rock and roll, techno. Literally, I like every every music that there is out there. Hey, fin and zata. No, I'm single. If anybody wants to marry me, date me, give me a call, hit me up, slide in the DMs. I'm waiting for Tony, Effie Baby, or um, Luis, so. Another question that I got was, why are you so obsessed with Italy? I've always been obsessed with Italy. I don't know when it started. It's just been a fascination of mine. I went when I was in high school, and ever since I've been there, it's been love at first sight. What do you think about the rap situation in US? I mean, the success that some artists with bad reputations as 6 9 xx extension, etc. have. <sighs> All of these new upcoming artists, um, they're what's in right now. Right now, it's not all about like lyrics and stuff, it's just what gets people pumped, hyped. I like 6 9 even though his words are stupid and don't make sense what do you think about italians oh and i got another question what do you think about italians what do you think about italy and italians and why are you so obsessed with italian people you guys are beautiful people beautiful creatures who doesn't love italians my <laughs> favorite trap artist is going to be bad bunny 6 9 um, Migos, 
a good trap or Italian trap, I'm going to say Dark Polo Gang. No, I'm just joking. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Fada e Basta, MS Killers, and Capo Plaza, and uh, Dali. I haven't heard that many trap artists, so let me know down below which one are your favorite trapped artists so I can listen to it. Pizza preferita. Um, pepperoni pizza. What name would you give to our son? Okay. <laughs> if I have a boy, I'm going to name my little bambino Giovanni. I've always liked that name since I was little. So if it's a boy, Giovanni. If it's a girl, Amelia. Deve venire in Italia. And if so, in Sardinia. Fabio, I'm coming for you. Parli spagnolo. Si hablo español, soy dominicana. So a veces me confundo cuando trato a hablar en italiano. Porque casi son similares. So, si. Italian guys or American guys? Italian. Saluta mi. Ciao Enrico. Question that I got in my DMs was in Spanish and it says ¿Te, te creciste en Nueva York o creciste en Puerto Rico y luego te mudaste? No, yo nací en Nueva York. Soy Dominicana and I've always lived in New York. So, yeah. And another question that he sent Te gusta Mark Anthony y Romeo Santos. See, sí, I love Romeo Santos, Mark Anthony. Do you listen to Trap? Do you listen to Te Dua? Congrats, you're very good. Say hello in your next video, please. Yes, I listen to Trap. Trap is one of my favorite genres of music. It gets me lit and pumped. Um, do I listen to Te Dua? No, I've never heard of him. Is he an Italian trap artist? I don't know. I'll listen to him after this. And. Thank you so much. Say hello in your next video, please. Hi, Gianmarco. Gianmarco. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Call me by at Acere Cosi Bona. La mia mama y el mio papa makes me. What was your biggest dream when you were a child and what dream do you have now if it's changed? Wow, this is a really good question. My biggest dream when I was little, I remember, was to be a news reporter and a flight attendant. Th those two jobs or like dreams were what I wanted to be. I just remember wanting to be happy when I was little. Growing up, I've always said that I wanted to do something that always made me happy. In today's day, I can say that I'm heading towards that and it makes me really proud to say. Have you ever considered ASMR videos for your channel? Things like whispering, tapping, scratching, mouth sounds, etc. You could be the best. No, because ASMR videos kind of freak me out, like, ugh, it chills. But, um, let me know if you guys want these type of videos. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. Disculpa mi estúpido pueblo por todas las cosas ofensivas que te escriben en la directa. Nosotros italianos no somos todos así. Perdone por mi español. Besos. Estás muy hermosa y simpática. Gracias por el mensaje. I don't take these comments serious. They are annoying. So if you can, just stop because it's not funny anymore. It was funny the first time. Pero gracias por el mensaje. I appreciate it. Un beso para ti. And yeah. Okay guys, so those were some of the questions that I answered that you guys sent me in the DMs or commented on my Instagram. I'm going to have a part two because I didn't answer all of the questions, so don't worry if you didn't see your question or message in this video. I want to give a quick shout out to all of my new subscribers. Besos para todos. Thank you guys for all the support and subscribing and comments that you guys leave me. I appreciate it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!